Injury occurs to the UCL when a radial and hyperextension force is applied to the MCP joint, such as landing on a ski pole, which is where the layman's term skier's thumb came from. Following injury, the UCL can be non-displaced, where it remains in its anatomical position under the adductor aponeurosis as shown in figure A. Or the UCL can be displaced superficial to the adductor aponeurosis as illustrated in figure B and C. This phenomenon is called a stenal lesion and occurs in approximately 50% of UCL injuries. Valgus stress testing during a physical exam does not distinguish between displaced and non-displaced UCL injuries with stenal lesions. Even if it demonstrates MCP joint laxity greater than 15 degrees of the contralateral side. Caution is also advisable during valgus stress testing as it may inadvertently convert a non-displaced tear into a displaced one, which is also the reason why abduction stressed view x-ray is no longer a recommendation. A chronic UCL injury results in a painful unstable thumb with reduced grip and pinch strength. As the thumb represents 40% of hand function, this can be very disabling. Accurate early diagnosis is key and prevents complications. Grade 1 or 2 injuries can be managed non-operatively by yourself or a hand therapist, 